this is the best. <laughs> this is Boone's first camping trip. I think he's doing good. Hi, Lucidity family. I am so happy to see you out in this wonderful, natural, beautiful, remote landscape. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great, in fact, because I know I haven't forgotten anything. Do you know, Lukey, how I made sure that we didn't forget anything we could possibly need for this camping trip? You make good lists? I do make good lists, but I'm also super organized because after a decade of working for about, I don't know, a half a dozen different festivals, I have learned the ins and outs of camping. I have learned how to make a home away from home. And the way you do that is by preparing. And I've got a tip for you, a little tutorial for you on how to make sure you're fully prepared. I give you the classic, fantastic 1960s, in my case, train case. This vintage train case is durable. It's kind of small, but not too big. And you can absolutely modify it to whatever your needs are. And I have made sure to do exactly that for my needs. So whenever Luke asks me, where's the chopstick or where's the ibuprofen or what happened to my voice? Why do I sound like this? I can answer it's all in the train case except for your voice. I don't know what happened to that. You must have left that on the dance floor. Mm, you did leave it on the dance floor. So I'm going to show you this tutorial on how you can actually upcycle yourself a vintage train case and outfit it perfectly to your needs so that you can make sure when you go to a festival or go out camping with your friends or just happen to set up a tent in your backyard with your dog, that you have everything you need. intermission I have upholstered the top I have upholstered the sides of both the top and the bottom of the train case and now I wanted to plan out a few separators I was originally going to do a bunch of separators and make everything its little own space but I think in the interest of being able to make sure I have everything I want and not sacrifice too much space 
I'm probably not going to do much more than two dividers. Um, I have sketched out a um, template of the base with graph paper, two pieces of graph paper taped together. And now I'm going to go ahead and section these out, cut them out, and you'll see me insert them so that they actually stay put in there. And then we're going to be almost done. I'm so excited. All right, let's get to work. The reason there was I actually decided that if I want to reconfigure this in any sort of way, because each trip is going to be a little bit different maybe, um, I can do it super easily. And the dividers are really just meant to keep things, everything separate. So it's doing that perfectly, in fact. I'm so happy how this turned out. It's so cool. I really recommend you doing this. So just go to a thrift store, get yourself one of these guys. They're usually there. Um, you might have to haunt a few different thrift stores or have one of the ladies that work there or men work there um, look out for a box for you. But I really, really recommend doing this. So there you go. That is my tutorial on how to make an overnight train box. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Babe, did we bring dog food? Do you have any chapstick? Do we have any ibuprofen? Do you have any uh, salves? I think I want to wear eyeliner tonight. Babe, I have a splinter. Do you have something I could take it out with in here? Do you happen to have any glitter? I need to go to work tonight. Do you have any snacks? I haven't eaten like in an hour. Do you have um, binoculars? Come here, puppy. Can I borrow your brush? Do you have any deodorant? Oh my god. I love other people's stuff. <laughs> Do you have any more things? It's like a the whole beauty salon out here. You, at your you camp. want hair tied? Do you need hair tied? How about a little Do you eye drops? Do you need eye drops? Eye drops? I could use some ups. ups, ups. You know what I'm saying? What else do you have in there? 